Montel, congratulations on the victory. Uh, so what are the initial thoughts after picking up the big win here in Madison Square Garden? I don't, I don't know. Um, I think it could have been better. Specifically, what, what do you seem dis are you disappointed in your performance? What do you think could have gone better? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think I could have got him out of there with um, simpler things early on in the fight. In the early in the, in the beginning, it seems like he was trying to control the pace fairly early. Is that so, is that what you mean? Like, did, did he catch you off guard early with anything he brought? No, uh, I, I figured he was going to uh, try to uh, uh, touch and run. So um, I had to figure out a way to get him comfortable enough to stand in front of me. And then obviously you had a lot of success with your jab. Daniel Cormier kept pointing it out. Did you know specifically that that's what would kind of keep him at bay or push put him down like like you did in there? No, uh, the, the jab was just uh, the, uh, the punch for the, the second and third. They showed a graphic on the screen that this is the fifth straight fight for you with a knockdown, which is the second longest active streak in all of the UFC. The only one longer is tied to Ivasa at six. Um, so were you aware of that record, and does that mean anything that you're pushing close to the UFC record right now? No. Um, it's it just, you know, I look like, but I'm heavy. And they also kept talking about your hands uh, in there, like the size of your hands. How, many, how often is, do people ask you to hold up your hands like that? Uh, not a lot. Um, usually uh, I see it in their face. I squeeze their hand real hard. Is it bigger than Francis' hands? That's what they kept saying on the commentary. Yeah, yeah, my fingers are longer than his. His palm is just a little thicker. Uh, and then finally, uh, when do you want to get back in there, and what would you like maybe the, the, your, the next year, 2023, to look like for Montel Jackson? Uh, man, I'm trying to get back in there as soon as possible. Uh, it's just whatever they got. Like, whoever says yes, wh whatever comes up, I'm going to try to get in there. Montel, over here to you, right? Congratulations on the victory. Uh, it was pretty close the first two rounds. Going into the third round, I mean, do you think you were ahead? And what is your corner saying to you? Uh, no, no matter what the, the, the corner say or whatever I think, you know, I'm, I'm always thinking, like, I'm down or I'm losing, especially if the fight's still happening. I was talking to your coach uh, the other day, and he was – Talking about how much focus you get being in a small team. Just talk to me about that and what your team means to you. Oh man, you know uh, our, our our team means a lot. Um, it's, it's it's not a lot of us, but um, we we all uh, we are there for one thing and one thing only. That's the, that's the win and that's the to be great. So and and then too like we we like my motto is we we don't need nobody in the way. We don't need no extra people. We don't need nobody standing around. We don't need no jock straps. No, draft, no jock scrap holders, no bag holders. We don't need nobody in the way. If you're there, you, you're there serving a purpose. If you're not, you're out. We don't need nobody in the way while we're trying to work. Congratulations. Thank you.